See, nowadays being who you are is recognized by not the actions, but the claim to be painfully struggling to use the voice that God gave to thee to say who you are because it may bring you shame. So how can you expect your Lord to bring honor to your name? Spoken word poet Mustafa Ahmed may be 18, but his messages are much, much older. He has been perfecting his craft since he was 10, and his hard work has paid off. Mustafa is the official poet laureate for the 2015 Pan Am Games in his hometown, where his words are being heard by people from all around the world. And we're so pleased to have Mustafa join us in studio right now. What a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all mine, thank you. Looking at you in that video, thinking, where do those words come from? <laughs> where, where does that come from? Um, it's definitely from my community. We were just talking about that. and. Um, it started with my sister. My sister used to write poetry, so I just kind of used it as a way to interact with her. Because um, I guess living in an inner, inner city community, it's hard to kind of identify with everything going around. Just being a child, it's hard to identify with all that surrounding you as you grow up. And so um, I realized poetry is my outlet to kind of um, work through those changes. You know, and, and you mentioned where you're from, and where you're from is Regent Park, mm -hmm. which is the oldest and largest housing project in the country. Yeah. You're still there now. Yeah. It's seen its changes, and with that, your poetry has changed right along with it because Definitely. it's always about home, right? Yeah, it is. And it's interesting because it's like a revitalization, and so like you'll, it's like literal change, and so I'm watching my poetry change and evolve with the park. And I think it's important because um, community is like a reflection. Your community is a reflection of you. And so as the community changes, you start to go through, I guess, like a reevaluation of who you are. So I try to continue to work through the changes in my pieces so that people in the community as well can identify with the pieces and see where they are and where they fit in this like large revitalization. You know? I can only imagine what it was like for you in grade, you know, three or four and submitting work to a teacher and that teacher <laughs> going, what? <laughs> this kid wrote this? Uh, did that ever happen to you? Teachers must have been in disbelief. Um, yeah, that was like, you know, grade five, grade six when I started writing poetry yeah. alone. Because I, you know, in grade four and grade five, I had like a little poetry book and I used to just write like a and journal. write. Yeah, a little yeah. journal where I used to write like, you know, just like rhyme after rhyme after rhyme. And so um, I used to bring it to, to the classroom. I used to share with my teacher even after class. And uh, yeah, and I think that, that motivation really helped. Like it just helped push me, you know, and like you hear them, you know, kind of like interesting shock and then you think there's something here there's something that I can do with the poetry which is uh, which was incredible yeah there's something you can definitely do tell me how the poet laureate stuff came about um, well, I was just doing a lot of different work in, um, uh, in the city. Um, I, I went on a tour with Free the Children, or the stadium-wide tour in North America. And um, so there's a lot of things going on poetry-wise. And so uh, Don, um, my manager, Che Katari, who runs a Manifesto Festival, he was on the board of the creative team for Pan American Games for Panamania. Mm -hmm. And so um, me and Don spoke about a commission, and we spoke about what the possibilities were, what, what kind of pieces we'd write. And uh, he was really interested in uh, some of the ideas that I had. And so it turned into this, which is incredible. We which is just amazing. Mm. You've performed already. You're going to perform some more. Yeah. And you know what? I, I look at you and I think there's so many news stories that we read on a daily basis about kids who are in trouble, who may not be doing the right thing. And it's so refreshing to be sitting across from you who is doing just about everything right. But I would think it, your parents have a lot to do with that. Definitely. Um, I think um, they really grounded me. They put like a lot of just, just different rules and like it was a very strict household. And um, I'm thankful for that because it really helped uh, kind of put me in my place. And I, you're right about that. Um, you know, a lot of people in my community, the, even a friend was talking to me about how, you know, most people that we, re that we recognize on TV, um, we recognize for all the wrong reasons. And here you are. It's just kind of refreshing to see someone. And I, and I represent a mass majority of kids in inner city communities who are trying to create positive change. Such an important message. Definitely. And it's not just me. It's like I represent that majority and I just want to be here just kind of like showing and like expressing that there's like a lot of people that are trying to kind of strive for that positive success. You're a bright light, Mustafa. What a pleasure to meet the you. Pleasure's on me. All, Thank you all so the much. best. Yeah.